Hey guys, how's it going? Chris here from Orman Leather and today I've got the CPL Foilcraft Mayfair to show you guys. So let's get into it. Okay guys, before we get into it, just so you guys know, full disclosure, CPL did send me this machine for review, but this is my honest feedback, review, thoughts on this machine, and I am really, really excited to share with you just why I love this, and why it's actually blown me away, and for me, set a new standard of what we as leather crafters, as people within the industry of wanting to heat, use a heat embossing machine should actually expect. Let's get into it. I think the first thing that you're going to notice about this machine is how aesthetically pleasing it is. Now you might think, be thinking, right Chris, okay, why is the fact that it looks good, you know, anything to do with anything? And that's a good question, but the reality is, is we live in the age of social media at the moment where we want things to look nice and this does the job really well it, it really does we've got matte black coating we've got brass and steel chromed accents and the reality is about that kind of aesthetic it will work in any setting you know if you think about a, a luxury boutique in London for example you know really really high-end in class this is going to look great on the shelf Think of my workshop, for example, we've got wooden accents, you know. I like to go for a bit more of a rugged vibe, a rugged style, and brass and leather really work together, brass, leather, and wood. And this just fits. It fits the aesthetic. It doesn't matter what your aesthetic is, this is going to work really, really, really well. More than that, though, it's, it's compact, and it just doesn't actually take up a lot of space. You know, think about what this machine does. It's pretty, pretty small, you know. Um, it really doesn't take up a lot of space, so it can it can look great, but it's also it's just going to sit quietly on its own in its own little corner, doing what it needs to do. And so, aesthetically, yeah, looks great. You know, also something to consider aesthetically is the fact that the there's no like kind of exposed moving parts. You know, all the hardware is nicely concealed in the frame. Okay, so let's talk about how this actually works. So the on switch, very straightforward, it's in the back. Then you're gonna see down here, some lights are gonna come on. These are your numbers, so in the bottom is the set temperature and the top is the current temperature, okay? So bottom is what you've set it to. So I've just put it as the highest it will go, which is 500 degrees. Now on the top, it's showing, we're not at 500 degrees, we're only at 32. What's kind of more as well though, which is a really, really nice touch and just goes to further prove the point that CPL have just thought of everything. This goes up to 500 degrees. That's pretty hot. Now what they've done is on the bottom here, they've added anti-slip rubber feet. That's really, really clever. It's really, really sensible. So it doesn't matter kind of like what, I'm moving my table before I'm moving this. You know, that's a really, really smart little addition there, which is gonna go a long way into just making this an overall quality machine to use. Check this out though, this is the coolest, coolest part of this machine. It's laser guided. How cool is that? It's just amazing. So cool. And to be honest, like, I don't know why more of these types of machines don't have laser guides. They're, they're so handy on this type of machine. It's a must have. You know, think of this for example. This is just a wee keychain little tag that I use and it's quite a weird shape. Now I would think that I'd want this up about three of the squares, okay? So let's put it up three of the squares to there and I'm way off. However, if we put it on the five, I can see with the lasers that oh, yeah, actually that's, that's, that's accurate. And it's the lasers that make that happen. I get, you know, it actually baffles me why 
more of these types of machines, especially the higher end machines, don't have laser guides. They're so, so, so helpful. So helpful. Also, they're really cool. I mean, lasers. We're talking about lasers here, guys. Lasers. I mean, sweet. I'll also add in that that laser can be disconnected if required. I don't know why you would. It's a really awesome feature of this machine, but just on the off chance that you don't like it, there's a wee cable here. You just unplug it. And it comes away, and then you plug it back in, and it's all sorted, and it's all back in there. So, you know, I think the laser is a really nice touch. I really do. Okie doke, so let's talk about our dials down here, because this controls the whole machine. These buttons down here, and this digital thermostat, this is what regulates the temperature of the machine. So if we set this green set button down here, that's going to leave this green light flashing and that means we can then edit our set temperature so we can just press the along button to choose which number we want to edit and then we just press up or down to change the number so let's talk about one of the most important aspects of a hot foil machine and that would be where you're actually going to stamp your products now they give you two options here on this machine now the first option you're going to have is the big table which you see here now that is going to come with this grid mark, which means you can kind of like remember where you're going to be stamping each time if you're doing batch runs, which is really, really important. Just, you know, for continuity and making sure that everything's in the same place always. But what you're also going to get is these spring clamps. Now what they're going to do is literally just hold your piece for you. Now you're not maybe going to necessarily use that for wallet pieces or something like that, but if you think about bags, bags especially are big heavy pieces that can have the tendency to move ever so slightly. And even that just like, that microscopic movement is just gonna make your stamp totally squinted and then it's just gonna not look as good as it possibly could. And all that's, all that's gonna stop that is two spring clamps, it's genius. It's just so clever. Now they call this a floating print bed. And what that means is we've got all this space under here, all this space. So think of it, if you're coming at this with a clutch or something like that, you're gonna put the top of your clutch over, but you don't really want to be stamping down on two layers of leather. So you can put the bottom half of your clutch underneath and that's just gonna save you so much time and hassle. But if this is too big for your needs, they've, they've thought that through and they've gone, hey, wait a minute, what if we offered a second option? And there's two. And then this should slide off. Yeah, perfect. And we have this smaller print space here. So this print space here is 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And this print space here is 19 centimeters by 16 centimeters. So for me personally, I would never take the big plate off. Yeah, I like the space. I, I print wallets. You know, I've stamped out my logo on wallets. Uh, but you might just want a smaller plate and they give you that option. And what's more, it's just, well, I better not lose them, eh? It's two little screws. Very easy to get on and off. That's super clever. Super clever. Super, just so cool, just so well thought through. Let's get this back on. Let's get it back on. See that action right there? Oh, that's smooth. Every piece of the mechanics on this is very, 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 very well made and very well done. Everything is just really smooth. There's no mechanical clunkiness. Okay, so let's talk about what you're going to get with the machine. So first up, you're going to get your die block or your stamp holder, whatever you like to call it. And this is, this is great. It's really heavy duty. It's really heavy duty. They offer die making services as well as like an optional extra. But you might have your own dies already made. So what they also send you is this, which is just a little bit of heat resistant tape that you can basically attach your dies to the die block. So that's quite a nice, a nice wee touch. So next up what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a box of spare parts. And this is fantastic and I absolutely love to see, love to see stuff like this included in a machine of this type. This just screams professional. It also screams the fact that this is going to be around for the long, long haul. So you've got a couple of spare parts in here and you've got every single Allen key you would absolutely possibly need to do what you need to do. So next up you're going to get some 
heat resistant gloves as well. This machine gets up to 500 degrees Celsius. It gets really, really hot. You know, they do add in the convenience of this tray to be able to slide out. And that's really, really great. So you can do all the work you want to do with your hands away from the hot parts of the machine. But let's not forget the primary function of this machine is to get hot. So the fact that they add in some safety gloves is, is just awesome. You know, it's a really, really, really nice touch. Next, we're gonna see some gold foil. So next up, what you're gonna get is a rubber mat. And uh, this rubber mat has a sticky back so you can stick it onto the tray bed here. And what it's just gonna do is it's just gonna add a little bit of cushioning if you're working with a really thin material. And it's really nice to see that kind of thing added. Okay, so let's chat about the die blocks that you get because what I've got here is I've got all three of the options available. Now this one here, this is actually my favorite one because it's for printing on pencils. It's really, really, really smart. And you get, with that, you get this little kind of centering block for the pencils to make them not move. So you can slide that in here. Next up, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see our letter die block. Now this is really, really, really cool. And I love how they've done this because it's self-centering. So you know, a lot of us work with letter stamps, you know, it's a great, great way to add a little bit of customization and personalization to a customer's product. It's really great. You give a customer a product with their initials on, it's very, very, very sentimental to the customer immediately. So being able to offer that to your customers is kind of a must for people in our industry. And what's always just annoyed me is when they go, just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit too far to the left or just a wee, over here, just a, just a little bit to the right. And it just looks bad. It looks so bad because it's just a little bit off center and it just doesn't look right. You're just like, you know, it's just like not okay. These guys have thought about that. Ah, oh, this is good. Oh, this makes me so happy, it's self-centering. It's genius. So the letters themselves, they're an optional extra. So they sent me a C and they sent me an F because they're my initials, which is pretty cool. But when you're doing this, you're like, okay, where's where's the middle? Where can I, where, where do I put this? But they sort that out for you. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, you've got this steel rod, you're just gonna push that up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten Tighten up these little screws here, which is going to put pressure pointing up the way. You're going to put pressure pointing up. So you're kind of pushing this against this brass point here. So we're just pushing them up, pushing them up, pushing them up, pushing them up. Tighten as much as they'll go. You don't want to tighten too hard because we're then going to move these bits here. So just kind of like to the point that these are still being able to move. And then what you do is you actually move the handle. And as you move the handle, you'll see these parts here move in the way at exactly the same pace. It's genius. So you just keep moving them. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And you just tighten it as much as you can. Now you might find that this is still a little, got a little bit of wiggle to it, so you just tighten these up afterwards. And there you go. Absolutely perfectly in the middle two initials. These are never, ever going to be anything other than perfectly centered. Think of me working leather and often I work leather that's quite expensive. Uh, I work with a lot of cordovan leathers and I often work with leathers that are completely and utterly unique. You know, there's, there, there isn't another type of that leather. There isn't another piece. It is a one-off, very small panel that's been hand marbled and no two are the same. So I get a customer come at me and say, hey Chris, can you emboss my initials? I go to emboss the initials and they're squint. And then you've got, you've got this piece of leather which is completely unique, which your customer was wanting, but you can't sell it to them because it's, it, it's ruined. This is a complete and utter game changer. It's going to solve so many issues. It's just, it's just brilliant. The whole thing is just well made. It's just, it's sturdy, it's strong, it's tough, it's resilient. It screams, I'm gonna last a lifetime. 
And you can really, really feel that in the quality, the overall quality of the engineering, the overall quality of the product. So before we wrap up, let's just talk about a couple more features. The handle here can actually be put more forward if you like. I like it just in the back because I, I kind of like how the way that works. But for me, that's just personal choice. There's a pin here as well, so you can increase and decrease the travel of the die block itself. And I've said a lot of positives about this machine. I have, and I understand that. And you might be thinking, Chris, what about the negatives? And my thoughts on the matter are there are none. And let's talk a minute about why that's okay, about why that's what we would expect and why that's what we would want. This is a master's machine. This is, this is a professional's machine. This is someone who does this for a living. This is a business's machine. It's for production. With the laser guide, with these clamps here, with your grid pattern on the table, you just can't go wrong. It's just, it's just every single time you pull down that lever, you're going to get an incredibly, an incredibly clean result consistently every single time. And that's why this is amazing. It just works and it works well. And to be honest, I've seen a lot of heat embossing machines and for me, this is by far the best I've seen. It's built for what we do. And I think that in a nutshell describes this machine. It's just built for what we do. Love it. As always guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This is the channel where we talk about all things leather craft or leather craft or business kind of related. So there's going to be loads of cool content coming out to help you get started in leather craft or help you push your business. We're going to be talking about tools, tools reviews, or even just maybe to give you a wee pattern to go and have some fun with. Thanks again to Creative Printers of London for sponsoring this video and sending this through. It's been great fun. It's been loads of fun to use, it's been loads of fun to play with, it's been loads of fun to review. It's been a lot of fun to review. So head over, go and show those guys some love. They're on Instagram, you can find their website, which will be in the link down below. That's gonna be the first thing I put there, in the link below. And they're also on YouTube as well, so make sure you go and show those guys some love and hit subscribe there. So you can see all their wide range of tools. They have so much on offer. It's gonna help any leather crafting business get started. Thanks again guys, catch you in the next video.